Welcome to the first of a few Digital Peloton News episodes covering what's new at Eurobike and there on the show floor for the first time. Today's episode will be covering smart trainers, the smart trainers that we know as direct drive and wheel on trainers. Jumping straight into the brands and starting off with Tax. Now Tax have announced the Neo 2T Smart Trainer, which is an update to the Neo 2, which was announced only 10 months ago. The Neo 2T is quieter only by a little bit, more powerful, so the virtual tire slip is pretty much gone and it's better at climbing hills at lower flywheel speeds. There's native through axle, so no more quick release adapter thingies required, which is a good thing. And on paper, they list better power accuracy and cycling dynamics support. Both are a work in progress, stay tuned for that, and I'll link below to my coverage, my initial coverage of the Neo 2T. Over to Elite, and they have two trainers announced at Eurobike and one prior to Eurobike. First of all, the Doretto X, building on the original Doretto from 2017, the first mid-range direct drive smart trainer that really changed the landscape for pricing and ride experience. So that sub thousand dollar mark there. There's a few refinements being made in noise, uh, steeper grade simulation and power accuracy claims. Stay tuned to this channel for the Llama lab tests of the Doretto X. Next up from Elite is the Tuo, or what we like to refer to as the Toaster, because we give Elite trainers more practical names. It's a wheel-on trainer from Elite, 2.3 kilo flywheel, which is the same as the Ramper, but they claim here 50% better inertia effect or better ride feel. So again, stay tuned to this channel for the Llama lab test of the Tuo Toaster. And thirdly from Elite is the Suto Trainer. This one just scrapes in as a Eurobike trainer. It was announced a few weeks back. Now the Suto is one tier down from the Doretto X in specs and price. And the aim of the Suto was to be a fully assembled, ready to go, out of the box, just start working trainer. The irony being that getting the thing out of the box was the biggest struggle I had here in the Llama Lab Test. Stay tuned for that review. Keeping the cadence up on this episode and straight to Wahoo, who have not announced any new smart trainers at the show. So first time in a few years, we've not seen anything new in regards to a direct drive or wheel on trainer from Wahoo. We've had the 16, 17, 18, Core, Climb, Headwind, Desk, you name it, it's been announced. They're doing okay with their bike though, more on that in the next episode. But they have released a new firmware for the Kicker 18 and Kicker Core, which now gives calculated cadence, which does pretty well. My link's below to a video of that. And also multi-Bluetooth connections for both of their trainers. So nothing new from Wahoo, but I don't think it's gonna hurt them this year. Saris, formerly known as Cyclops, got in a few days early and announced three products just before the show. That was a new trainer, the new desk, and that premium level rocker plate. Focusing on just their new trainer for now, the H3. In summary, it's a quieter, cheaper hammer. My review of that trainer, I'll link to below. Prior to Eurobike, Four Eyes teased out Flight, which we didn't quite know what it was all about. Well, it turns out it's a new smart trainer from the guys at Stack. Now, Four Eyes are known for their power meters and heart rate monitors. They purchased Stack not too long ago. That partnership has resulted in a new Stack Halcyon. Well, it's the Four Eyes Flight. Now, the technical details of the Flight are a little bit light. But from what I can tell, it's a more refined stack halcyon. Stay tuned as I try and get one in the Llama Lab. Onto the iconic green machines from Kinetic. Now the R1 direct drive rock and roll smart trainer isn't really a Eurobike 2019 trainer, but it's the first time it's been at the show. So definitely worth a mention. My take, my initial take on that trainer is linked to below. And finally, onto a company from this side of the globe, Jet Black. Now, Jet Black is showing the Volt Wheel On Trainer, which is self powering 3.4 kilo flywheel, 16% gradient, plus or minus 3% power accuracy wheel on trainer, and also the EMS Direct Drive Trainer, which is the first time we've seen this too. 2.5% plus or minus for power accuracy and a 16% grade simulation. Stay tuned for some hands on of those units very soon. So all in all, for direct drive and wheel on smart trainers at Eurobike 2019, we've just seen things become a little more refined. Trainers are becoming quieter, a little more accurate, more compatibility with through axle, and we're seeing firmwares with fuller feature sets. So that's speed, cadence, power, control, all in one, and across the board protocol support from Amp Plus, Amp Plus FEC, Bluetooth Smart, and Bluetooth FTMS. Meaning that any software that you choose to use with any of these new trainers should work out of the box. One thing I do have to note for 2019 though, in the lead up to Eurobike, there has been a higher number of failures of trainers in the Llama Lab, a lot higher than any other previous year. Do I attribute this to a higher competition in that mid-range price point, or are companies focusing more on these smart bikes and where things are heading for that? I don't know, but it's been not quite smooth sailing at this point with firmwares and the user experience of a number of these trainers. If I had to choose one word that explains the direct drive and wheel on smart trainers that we've seen at Eurobike 2019, that would be incremental, requiring a firmware upgrade. But stay tuned, we will look at the smart bikes. There is a lot happening in that space. Okay, links below to a few of the trainers I've spoken about here, which have hit the Llama Lab. And remember to hit subscribe to see when the others hit the Llama Lab and I'll give them the full test. Okay, thanks for watching.